Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan thousand three here. And as you can see, I'm here with a super duper cool Spongebob book. And this one is called You're Fired. And it's pretty obvious that I got this book back in like mid-summer 2019. And this is actually a very super cool book and I really, really love it. Okay, so as you can see on the front cover, there are these two fish right here sitting at a table. And they're like, what is going on? And then... Mr. Krabs is like yelling, you're fired! And then there's Squidward, he's like laughing and he's pushing Spongebob out of the Krusty Krab in like a little cart. And Spongebob is so, so sad and he's like crying his eyes out. He's waving his arms around and he just looks so upset because he got fired by Mr. Krabs. His best employee too. And um, here is the spine really quick. And here is the back. It basically looks just like the front cover, but it just has, like, you know, all of this stuff right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the pages that are in this book. And to be honest, even though Spongebob looks so sad, he looks so cute, too. I mean, aww. Alright, let's go ahead and start looking at the pages now. Okay. So, firstly, this book was made back in 2014, so this book is around 9 years old or so. And, um, there's a little picture of Spongebob getting kicked out of the wet noodle, and this book is called You're Fired, and it was based off of the teleplay by Mark Sisrosley, uh, something, Luke, Luke Brookshire and Mr. Lawrence, and, uh, and illustrated by Dave Iken. Okay. So Spongebob is having a really fun day with working at the Krusty Krab. He mopped the floors and the ceiling, he washed dishes and cooked Krabby Patties, and he absolutely loved his job. But, unfortunately, Mr. Krabs fires Spongebob just so he could save a nickel. And, I mean, literally, like, money cannot be everything, Mr. Krabs. I mean, I mean, firing Spongebob, I mean, that is completely wrong. Like, that is literally awful. So, um, so yeah, Squidward pushes Spongebob out on, like, a cart and stuff. And that picture looks just like the front cover, but Mr. Krabs looks really angry on the, um, front cover. And Mr. Krabs is holding a nickel in the actual picture here. And that boy fish right there looks really different. See, he's, like, different colors and stuff. Squidward looks the same, but Spongebob just, he, he's just crying and like clutching onto the sides of the cart. But in this picture right here, it looks like he's screaming and stuff. But I mean, literally, again, that is completely wrong of Spongebob to get fired by Mr. Krabs. I mean, like literally, that is just like completely wrong. So, um, Spongebob is like wallowing in misery because he now is unemployed he doesn't have a job anymore and his best friend patrick comes over and spongebob tells patrick the horrible news that he got fired and patrick says don't worry i'll teach you the wonders of fun employment and the really funny thing is though that patrick thought that spongebob got free french fries and a frothy frappe <laughs> but um yeah so tomorrow Patrick is going to teach Spongebob the wonders of fun employment. So, um, look how funny Spongebob looks though. He has like a 5 o'clock shadow now and he has like a wrinkled shirt. His tie's hanging down and he hasn't shaved his legs either. <laughs> but, um, so they, so Spongebob and Patrick start their day by standing in Squidward's garden and waving at him. And Squidward throws like fruits Wait, no, vegetables at Patrick's face, and Patrick's, like, licking tomato sauce off of his face. But yeah, Spongebob doesn't look very good, but he actually looks kind of funny. And he's holding a mug that's his best day ever. Yeah, it looks like Spongebob's having the best day ever. Alright, and then later that day, Spongebob and Patrick go to Sandy's for free lunch. Or, you know, a science experiment with weird side effects and Patrick ends up like um 
growing the little like Patrick actually got like a little face popped out on Patrick's forehead with like little arms and legs and stuff like a little face popped out of Patrick's forehead and he feeds it and then Sandy notices that Spongebob is depressed and he doesn't have a job anymore so she tells him to clean up find a routine and get a new job and this manages to cheer up Spongebob a lot so he goes to find a new job and seriously though as I said in my book review from 2019 that is seriously the cutest Spongebob picture ever I mean seriously that's my favorite picture in this book he looks so adorable <laughs> all right so Spongebob goes to find a new job so he thinks that he should get another job as a fry cook so he goes to the weenie hut but um spongebob doesn't like the kitchen because instead of using a grill to cook the wieners um they use like a rolling machine and spongebob doesn't look very pleased with it at all so he gets an idea to um slice some hot dog buns and the little hot dog like wieners and um make like little weenie patties and the manager doesn't like them so he fires spongebob and at the pizza pie hole pizza pete um doesn't like spongebob's pizza patty like it just looks like a normal pizza but with two buns added to it so spongebob gets fired from that job as well and then at the taco sombrero um at first the manager finds it interesting but then he, um as a customer tries it like a bunch of like beans squirt everywhere and poor little Spongebob gets fired from that job too. Oh, Spongebob. And then at the wet noodle, um, Spongebob's noodle patties are really messy. So um, Spongebob gets kicked out of that restaurant too and fired. I mean, seriously though, Spongebob's already had a rough day. Why don't you guys just give him a chance, man? So Spongebob gets fired from that job too. So Spongebob goes home and he's really depressed and he makes Gary food and luckily Gary still likes Spongebob's cooking. And then these two giant, like these two big men dressed up as hot dogs basically kidnap Spongebob and shove him into a giant bun. Which, like, literally. <laughs> and, um, then they take Spongebob to the weenie hut. And now Spongebob is chained to the hot dog cooker thing. I mean, literally, that is illegal right there. I mean, literally, you shouldn't, um, like, chain your employees to their workstation. Because, like, like, what if they need to go to the bathroom? Or, like, what if they need to go home to feed their pet? Or something. So Spongebob is chained to the hot dog cooker and there's like, I think that's a, like, I don't know what you want to call those. I think those are tongs handcuffed to his hand too. So yeah, so Spongebob is chained to the hot dog cooker. And um, then Pizza Pete, the manager of the pizza pie hole, comes and like rescue Spongebob he uses t like um pizza sauce to get Spongebob's hands out of the chain but then as soon as Spongebob is freed um Pizza Pete ties up Spongebob's hands with a parmesan crusted breadstick or a garlic breadstick as it's called in the book but in the ep episode it's a parmesan crusted breadstick so Spongebob's hands are now tied together with a breadstick and Pizza Pete runs away with him and then as soon as they get outside, Spongebob is grabbed by the, um, manager of the wet noodle. And then Senior Taco from Taco Sombrero gets Spongebob as well. And now everyone's, like, having a tug of war with Spongebob. And literally, I mean, like, if they pull even harder, Spongebob could literally, like, rip apart. So everyone's, like, tugging on Spongebob. And then, all of a sudden, a big, huge Krabby Patty comes to Spongebob's aid and rescues him and the big Krabby Patty takes Spongebob to the Krusty Krab and uh, Mr. Krabs tells Spongebob that the Krusty Krab is a complete wreck without him and Mr. Krabs rehires Spongebob. Good choice Mr. Krabs. 
And and now SpongeBob has his old job again. And SpongeBob help fixes the crusty crap. And everything is back to normal. And um now there is a pay toilet, so you know, um everyone can like, you know, pay a nickel. And um that's how he makes up the nickel he loses by hiring SpongeBob. And yep. Spongebob is really happy to be at work. And that's actually a really happy ending because Spongebob got his job back. I think that's really awesome. But yep, that's all for the Spongebob You're Fired book. Definitely my favorite part about it was when Mr. Krabs realizes that he does need Spongebob. And he hires him back. And to be honest, that's a really good choice Mr. Krabs made because like, I think... That was an absolutely horrible mistake Mr. Krabs did by firing poor Spongebob. But luckily he hired him back because he realizes that he needs his fry cook. Which is really good. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So goodbye everybody, have a great day, and peace out.